Hey y'all, it's Crazy Excite here, and I'm bringing you the first of our Friday uploads, which is going to be a series known as Sniper's DNA, where I'm going to bring you games from esteemed snipers around the community, usually from the clan. This one in particular is from XCG Raw. And they are going to be gameplays showing something that I think is very important for snipers to know, and or they're just going to be general all-around well-played games where I'm going to point out things that the players do and explain a little bit about why they do them so you can not just watch a good player play and do his thing and try to exemplify that but know why you should try to exemplify that and why exactly you should try to emulate something that he's doing so it can really help you out. Alright, let's just jump right into this analyzation now. It seems Ra has spawned at uh, the crux of top and lower path and he's skipping the stun check over towards Crane because he actually sees the kid poke his head up right around Anchor so then he knows where he's going and he just picks him off beautiful beautiful little quick scope going uh, to Rust and he's totally fine going down to collect those tags out looking because the opponent is either going to spawn on the opposite side of the map or adjacent to him on the farthest point from the seaboard so if he's closer to the right side of the map he's either going to spawn across or on the left and if he's closer to the left side of the map then he's either going to spawn uh, across on the right or uh, the far back just because of the way the spawn system is set up in 1v1 aground. Now right here he gets hit so the other kid has a hit marker and Ra is now sacrificing accuracy for speed because he knows that what he needs to do is put his opponent in a panic mode and you all know that feeling whenever you get a hit mark is kind of frustrating and your next shot isn't usually too great on. And this is a very nice play as you saw what he did is you need to be in a line of sight with your opponent but he was choosing there instead of exposing himself he was going to let his opponent expose him so he takes one shot then dips behind just the smallest amount of cover that his opponent has to come out to get that line of sight and then he's able to pick him off and right there just classic he heard the kid he knew where he was because he heard him made a loud thud he actually threw it on a portable radar and that's what made that noise I was able to see that here he's trying some long range engagements it's kinda hard he's refusing to hard scope which is fine that's admirable if what you love to do is quick scope and you're good at it and so he's gonna have a little trouble here he's getting head glitched a bit but he finally pulls off the nice kill and again he's gonna be confident going for these tags because he's pretty sure that his gun skill is uh, above this other players and he knows he's either spawning opposite or adjacent so he's relatively safe in what he's doing now he's running back up top path to cave and it looks like he's going to stop and just jump off to Rust in the middle. See his kid coming up the stairs. Uh, there you go. And he runs right through Kitchen after he collects the tag. Going up again through Cave and Top Path. That's a very nice crux. Very, very clean shot right there. And as you saw, since it's not like a real rifle where you have to hold steady after you shoot, he can immediately pop into that cave after he takes that first shot in case it would have missed. But of course, uh, it hit, so he got a really nice clean kill. Now he's hanging out in Kitchen, moves back out because he hears a guy come down the stairs. Gets lucky, the kid gets a hit marker on him, and he was in the good, he was in a superior position, he had the top position, and uh, even if you don't think that's helpful, it always is, you want to be higher than your opponent, because if they're lower than you, they can lie down, and them lying down will actually expose more of their body to you, like, I believe that's what happens right here, actually, is although he blends in with the dirt, he's exposed more of himself than if he was standing, because he's created a longer plane for Ra to shoot at. And he ends up getting a headshot there, running down lower path to collect that tag, totally unafraid of getting uh, return sniped. And he's looking over towards base of rust at ramp, because he thinks that's where his opponent's going to be coming. He was actually miscalled it, because this is one of the times where he has spawned adjacent as opposed to opposite. Gets a really nice long distance kill there, and he's going to go around and try to collect these. Now, there is a chance that his opponent is going to spawn on the other side of white right here. White is this big thing he's running on top of, uh, chimneys behind him. But he sees him, sees him across the way. He's afraid to get hard scope, so ooh, gets a hit marker right there. Very discouraging. So such a nice long range shot, and I believe he picks him up right again here. Yep, there you go. Very nice. He looked like he was going from the top of rust, jumping down towards ramp, and then Ra's running right through center, feeling very confident because he knows again his opponent. That's where he would have spawned, spawned directly uh, in front of him because that was the opposite of white where he was originally when took that. Um, took him out previous he runs back in a cave on top path seems to be fooling around in the kitchen a little bit and he's trying to pop around and locate exactly where he is he has a good general idea but it's just narrowing it down oh and the kid comes bottom path gets a very nice not a turn on still a very quick accurate glance in that direction I believe this game is wrapping up right here actually <clears throat> he there you go oh gets that hit marker sees the uh, portable radar now that he actually has his specialist bonus for the past few kills I believe and for some reason looks at the portable radar tries to destroy it even though we all know it goes away when your opponent dies and a beautiful shot there you go very nice headshot knew he was coming path the two best ways to protect kitchen and rust are looking lower path from cave 
uh, excuse me, looking upper path from cave and looking lower path from rust. Anchor you don't have to worry too much about because they get caught up uh, in the cover and beds. And a very nice, very solid shot there. Quick scope the whole game. Uh, very admirable if that's what you like to do, but again, nothing wrong with the hearts coming if you need to. And there you go, the first Sniper DNA episode. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, tell me what you want me to do differently, if anything. Uh, it's been Crazy Excite and TTFN.